movieweb.com. When Dana Marshes didn't make it as an actor... I'm having a herpes outbreak, but you never know it. <laughs> he became passionate about teaching. Theater has the power to transform the audience. And discovered... I kicked this trash can. He wasn't very good at that either. I've been praying for more racial understanding, but I still get anxious around ethnics. Just because they're Latinos doesn't make them gangbangers, got it? We're just coming together as a class. Is he acting? No, he's not that good. So uh, you said that you said originally that uh, you were kind of worried about the Rock Me Sexy Jesus song uh, taking being took taken the wrong way. Like, have you heard any like negative backlash about that so far? Or? Um, I I haven't heard personally any, but I'm aware that there are some people. Uh, I think there's some kind of people online who are sharpening their knives, should we say? Can you talk a little bit about like how much of this? You said there's uh, uh, Andrew Fleming allowed you to improvise. Like how about like a uh, how much of this was improvised and how much was a uh, kind of straight by the script? Um, I don't think well, there wasn't a great deal of improvisation. I think that with the, the I wouldn't say there was improvisation more than uh, situations where Andy and I would talk about a scene mm -hmm. and then we try something out there and then. So I'd say well, so I mean almost immediately before we shot it, we'd say what about if I do this? What about if I do that? Let's try this stuff. So there was that. But that was only, I'd say, 10% of the time. The rest of the time was pretty much, pretty, pretty uh, uh, faithful to the original script. Yeah. Can you uh, talk a little bit about like, the roller skating? Uh, is there a reason that he, oh, yeah. uh, he doesn't drive? Or <laughs> um, Andy just liked the idea of, I suppose it's some, some of like the things that you don't see protagonists doing in movies, uh, the sort of thing that Andy wants to do. Well, you don't see the hero of a movie roller skating to school. It's so kind of dumb and stupid and uncool that, that he just sort of, thought that would be an interesting thing to do and it was hard to learn I, learned, I went down to Venice Beach in California and uh, went up and down fell over a bunch of times and um, and uh, and so you know I was never gonna get that good at it so we just sort of worked it into the movie then, yeah were you, were you down at a uh, comic-con a few weeks ago or in, uh, yes I was how was that experience we saw the rock be sexy Jesus is rocking yeah, walking around yeah <laughs> that was kind of weird yeah um, <laughs> that was just weird I mean it, it kind of got people talking about it people saying who are those guys in the like the best tops and the long hair and the beards, so I suppose it, it was kind of, uh, it worked, but yeah, it was a bit disconcerting. <laughs> if he was, if he was, uh, if, if your character Dana was still yeah. remaking like films like First Oh right, oh, what would he like, next? What would he okay. tackle next? Uh, well, in the original script, we had him that, that last year he'd put on uh, a stage version of The Shield Season 2, <laughs> which I thought was very funny. Awesome. Um, yeah, I think he put on uh, all those movies that kind of, uh, Ordinary People, I think he might do a stage version of that, ah. yeah. Interesting. Something like that. Or the elephant man, maybe. <laughs> or Raging Bull on stage. Yeah. What's really going on here? Jesus is sexy to you, which leads us on to the musical interlude, Rock Me Sexy Jesus. Steve Coogan, Catherine Keener, David Arquette, and reintroducing Elizabeth Shue as Elizabeth Shue. I'm actually a nurse now. Mm! Oh my God, I'm freaking out! Hamlet 2. It was dramatic. It was visual. It was stupid. It was stupid, but it was also theater. That's cool. <laughs>